Yo, what's up? It's been a long time since I made a build video, but the new update has gotten me back interested in the game a bit. And it's, I've still been playing it, but I haven't really been doing a lot of builds because things have been pretty stale lately. And so I, I've made a lot of different builds, but nothing that I felt like sharing. So I've been messing around today with Iron Bear. I actually have ever since the patch came down. I've been doing all sorts of different stuff with Iron Bear, the purple tree, the new class mods. And I ran across something today that I find to be very, very fun, and I really enjoy it, so I'm going to share that one with you today. Uh, we're going to be doing a general winter focus build, for the most part. Uh, so I have here a boogeyman with a minigun anoint. The boogeyman is a good choice because it has a high a dot chance for that ignite, uh, since we're going to be using the eternal flame. Now you can use different class mods. You can get super high duration and you might not feel like you need the flame which is cool uh, but I, I like using this class mod a lot and we have a re four really big guns for a lot of damage and then one in the capstone uh, skill which i can't remember what it's called uh, but I, I really enjoy the gameplay loop with using this and if you get uh, one of these i found if you have one of those with four and nitrodium engines and one in the capstone for some reason i don't know what it is but the duration bugs out and you can have it like i went through five rounds of slaughter shaft without losing my bear but as is uh the fuel in, the, in this setup is going to last about a round round and a half sometimes two just depends uh, but we got the boogeyman for igniting we have the flare with the max health and action skill. Splash damage is not important, but it will help the boogeyman once we're out of our iron bear. We got a pearl for some damage. Again, max health. The other uh, magazine size, it helps, but it doesn't really matter. We got a multivitamin plus ultra. Just trying to stack our health as much as possible, which actually it really isn't that necessary, but we're doing it. And we have the 75% uh, shielding. Why does the UI do this now? I clicked one thing and it brings up two. I, I don't fucking get it. But anyways, we got all that health and shit when we exit Iron Bear. So we'll do a pre-exit before we start the round. And then after we lose our duration, we'll get it back in time to get that proc'd on our Iron Bear. So we'll have like five and a half, six million HP. And then we got a spring epicenter, which is a pretty important part of the build. Very high dot chance there, so we're going to be igniting things with that. And we have the annoyance so that iron bear will be throwing them out whenever we take damage. Uh, so that's how we're going to be healing iron bear right there. That's the main way we're going to be healing iron bear. Uh, the other way we're going to, so that's with this skill right here. And whenever you ignite Mo's or iron bear, you regenerate health. It's really strong when you have that big of a health pool because uh, it goes by a percentage of your health, uh, max health, so that's really good. And the other way we're going to be healing with that ignite is by using experimental munitions. Since we're not using splash, uh, we have a couple points in skagged in, but that's not going to really help. And I don't think Cloudolet actually ignites shit. I don't really know. I was using it without experimental munitions. I didn't notice anything being ignited really, so I don't know. Uh, but we have that anyways because we're going so i guess i'll go over this tree we're going to have that this would be increasing our fire damage for uh, mostly experimental munitions but also cloud of lead and our spring epicenter as well so that's going to be pretty useful uh, this is just for most when we're on foot which is not going to be used very much move down the tree here we got russian offensive just in case we need it while we're on foot scorching rpms iron bear damage Specialist Bear, Iron Bear Damage, General Winter, of course, because that's what we're focusing the bill on. And this is important here, Security Bear. Uh, it gives us our some really good damage reduction while it's out, and also, and it's like huge. So if we have five and a half million, so we got like seven and a half, eight million health on that shield, so that's gonna be really good. And with that 50% damage reduction, plus the 45% from Feature Creep, uh, we're barely going to be taking damage from anything. It's actually ridiculous how little damage you take in Iron Bear. Uh, I think I went over pretty much everything. Yeah, we go down to Otter Bear. A cool thing to point out here. While Otter Bear is out and you're on foot, 
uh, this grenade anoint will actually still proc and it will proc up on those which is pretty cool and so that gives you another chance to ignite stuff so I've had it to where my duration ended and I got hit as I was getting out of it and it proc a nade and I had my iron bear back before I my feet even hit the ground so that's uh, really cool and then this will help us uh, ignite stuff but we needed to move down the tree but when we're on foot that also gives us another chance to ignite stuff with the boogeyman purple tree just gonna go over that real quick damage nothing nothing else here but damage uh, this is our bread and butter for staying alive in iron bear which uh, we take such little damage it doesn't get all that much use but it, it's plenty we get some movement speed here which is great status effect chance this is important for freezing so that's gonna really help us freeze stuff really quick and then we got fire rate, which is awesome. And we got maximum fuel, just more fuel on top of the fuel, on top of the fuel. We really want that. Damage resistance, so we went over that. So 45 and 50 in damage resistance. We got this, the capstone from our class mod. Uh, this is going to help preserve fuel a little bit. It doesn't do anything about uh, the weapon drain, but it does with the idle drain, so that's good. And then this is not going to be that big of a deal, but it helps with the epicenter. It gives you some more damage out of that epicenter proc, and it's pretty cool too. Yes, this round. Yes, so let's get into it, do a little bit of gameplay, and then we're going to have some a little bit of a treat after I show off. Did you see that? Did you see that guy freeze instantly and just get straight up melted? You can see that this guy got ignited by that grenade. And in the description, I'm going to be posting a link uh, just kind of showing how the healing works with the nade. I, I just stand in front of Ward and let him damage me until it procs, and you can see how my health just instantly fills back up from it. So, so it's just a real quick clip, so give it a check out after you watch this video. Yeah, this is really strong. I'm going to be linking a clip of Killing Wotan with the build as well. And that only takes about a minute 40 to do that. Probably could have been done a lot better too. It wasn't all that perfect of a kill, but <laughs> this is just so much fun. Just freezing everything and just, it's so ridiculously broken too, but that's okay. Let's see our damage taking capabilities here. So we've lost our shield. Oh, I, I forgot to proc my health. So I guess I'll just play that here. Let's just, let's just get out. And then let's just ignite something. See how easy that was. And now we got 5.3 million HP. And you can see you just, you just don't take damage. And if you do, it gets healed right back by those grenades. It's ridiculous. Go ahead. Right now I'm I got the shield up, so I'm not gonna take damage anyways. Let's get inside here. Does nothing. Uh, we lost our shield. We're, we're still at max health with all this happening to us. I'm standing in this. You know how bad those dot this puddle of fire hurts. <laughs> we're just staying at max health. It, it's just silly. It really is silly. All right, so we want to. I want to show you one other thing here, which is really fun. With the new update, this is now a viable run. So we also have the salamander damage increase anoint here. So let's see if we can ignite something real quick. There we go. Now let's go melt stuff with our flamethrowers. We have one corrosion, one fire, just to handle armor and, and then everything else. It burns through the shields like nothing, so we don't need shock or anything. Seems to be like kind of a sweet spot with the range. At certain ranges it does. Oh, I don't know if you noticed that skill, but when you're holding the boogeyman, those, those skulls will pop out to you. They're, they're kind of like brain dead though. Sometimes they go after enemies, very rarely. Usually they just like fly off and do nothing. I gotta like work on my aim with these salamanders. If you do it right, the ship blows up, but 
It's kind of, it's kind of weird. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think it's a range thing. Sometimes they they blow right up. Other times it's not as impressive. Either way, it's still definitely viable, and they're fun to use. Oh, I think right about there. I think that's about the good range. Maybe a little closer. Anyways, yeah, that's the build. It's a lot of fun. Try it out.